Hi, I am Dr. Jyotsna Deepak Patel, practicing obstetrician and gynecologist since last 25 years in Varsova Kripa Hospital, Andheri West and Omang Hospital, MIDC, Andheri East. Today, I would be uh, talking on uh, again another common condition that I see in my OPD and that is called fibroids. What are fibroids? Fibroid is basically small swellings in the uterus which are made up of fibrous tissue and muscular tissue. That's all. This fibroid can range in size from small peanut size to even watermelon size. Do you have to worry about fibroids always? No, not always. Usually most of the time women have fibroids which are diagnosed on routine scan. Now these are small seedling fibroids which are commonly seen. They are asymptomatic and one need not worry about it at all. So if the scan shows small fibroids, what do we do? We just keep a watch on them, get a scan done every six monthly or yearly and observe whether it's increasing in size or no. How do you know that you have fibroids? In short, what are the symptoms of fibroids? Most common symptom that the patient presents in case of fibroids is abnormal uterine bleeding. And most commonly, menorrhagia. When I say menorrhagia, that means excessive menstrual flow in the form of passing a lot of clots lot of liquid blood that goes changing at least five to six pads or more per day which is also associated with lower abdominal pain now this is the most common symptom other symptoms also can be there like there could be a dragging pain in the lower uh, pelvic region since the uterus is in the center in front you have bladder and behind you have rectum so if there are large fibroids in the uterus um, you may have urinary symptoms as well as um, gastrointestinal symptoms in the form of constipation or burning in the urine increased frequency of uh, urination now do all fibroids need to be treated no if they are small seedling fibroids, they need not be treated at all. Many a times when we are doing cesareans, we find that, oh, the patient has small fibroids and the patient is completely unaware of it. So not to worry at all, you just observe it. When do we treat? We treat the patient only if the patient is symptomatic, that is one thing. And second, if the fibroids are uh, moderate to large in size. When I say moderate to large, that means the size has to be at least more than 3.5 to 4 centimeters, multiple fibroids then we explain to the patient that probably this requires treatment. The diagnostic modalities, how do we diagnose fibroids? One is clinical examination and uh, routine sonographies pick up fibroids. Also, if there are multiple fibroids and we do want to know what, where it is uh, located, how big it is, whether it can cause uh, changes and can get malignant. So in those cases, if we suspect, we do get an MRI done as well. What are the treatments of fibroid? Now, uh, if the patient is having uh, moderate fibroids with symptoms, there is a medical management and there is a surgical management. So in medical management, usually we uh, treat the symptoms of excessive blood loss by giving hormonal tablets or non-hormonal medication. Now, if the fibroids are big and symptomatic, then in that case, we offer patient something called myomectomy. Myoma is a name given to fibroid and that is why myomectomy. Now myomectomy is usually done laparoscopically and especially in those women who have not completed their family who would like to bear children, in those cases definitely we advise them to undergo laparoscopic myomectomy. Those women who have uh, completed their uh, family, they don't want to bear children and they have fibroids, then we offer them hysterectomy, that is removal of the uterus completely because fibroids do have tendency to come back again. So we give them a choice whether they would like to just remove the fibroids or better to go ahead with hysterectomy. So this is the information that I want you to know about fibroids and take the right decision for yourself. Thank you.